It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we'll be watching the Falcons' creative quarterback. He's going to have to air it out plenty this week. It's the Falcons and the Chiefs on Sunday night primetime. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us down south to Mercedes-Benz Stadium on the west side of downtown Atlanta. Thanks for having us in, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Or should I say Dean Olson? Because tight end U doesn't happen without you. And uh, we've got a great matchup here. We've got two of the best at your position in the current day right now. When I came into the league I mean, almost 20 years ago, there was a handful of really elite tight ends. But doesn't it just seem, especially these last couple of years, every single round? Set to take over here on offense. They'll be led out by a young man who's making a name for himself, their rookie quarterback. Really solid all-around performance last week, Mike, and I think the biggest factor that led to the win is his ability to continue to protect the football. He executed the offense, ran it exactly how they designed all week in practice. Now, it might not have been earth-shattering performance statistically, they got the win. He can continue to play that style of ball. It's going to be a tough group to match up with. They'll try again here, second and ten. He'll drop the throw. He's got this to Bijan Robinson. It's a pickup of 12. It's good for a Falcon first down. They'll look to throw. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. That'll be caught by the running back, Robinson. And he'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. That'll be batted away, incomplete. Coverage very strong defensively. It's second down. They'll look to throw again. You'll get this to the former Bear, Darnell Mooney. And they'll take this down inside the 35. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Mooney in motion. On first down, it's Robinson. And he'll bring this inside the 30. A gain of about five. You get a look there at his numbers on the ground from a week ago. They'll come up here on second down and five. On play action, he'll set up to throw. There's Kyle Pitts with the grab. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. This has been a solid opening drive. They're knocking on the door, first and goal. Now they'll set up to throw. And that is caught in the end zone. He's in. Darnell Mooney. Touchdown Atlanta. It's his third touchdown of the year. 
a terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively to be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. Nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. This returnable from the four. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Chiefs come out with the face of the NFL. Patrick Mahomes, two-time regular season MVP, three-time Super Bowl MVP, just in his eighth year, best in the business at the helm for KC, Greg. It's always so hard as a player, Mike. You leave a game, you have a big performance, you feel like you really did your job, but it comes in a losing effort. And while you're proud of that effort, there's this sour taste in your mouth going into practice the next week, knowing that it wasn't good enough. That's what he's facing here today. He had a great game last week in a loss. Can he find a way to lead his team and have an equally good game, continue to play at that high level that we've seen him play at, but this time, do it in a victory. That's what they're focusing on. That's been the emphasis all week long. We're going to get a shot to see how it plays out here today. And he'll work his way for about four yards. And that's good enough for a first down. Once again, it's Pacheco. Oh, a loose football. And as you can see with that fumble, Mike, it really just goes back to the fundamentals of how they're taught to carry the ball. And they talk about the points of pressure. And the biggest thing really, Mike, is you want the front tip of the ball, the part where your fingers cover, to always be higher than the back tip of the ball. So often you see that front tip go down, and it makes it so much easier for that defender to kind of rake it out. So you want pressure against the outside of the ball, both tips, the inside of the ball, and then keep that front point up. Right away, they'll set up to throw. That's caught left side by Pitts. And they'll take this down inside the 35. They'll come up here first and 10. A quick throw here going to be taken by London. We hear the term RPO so often, Mike, and it continues to kind of trickle its way into the NFL. But remember, it's a lot different in the NFL than it is in the college game where it's a lot more prevalent. The linemen cannot go downfield. So that quarterback has to make a lot of really fast snapshot decisions or else it's going to lead to a penalty or him holding on to the ball too long. So it's something that teams want to implement, but maybe not quite to the level that we see in the college game. And the Falcons are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Great pre-snap identification by the quarterback, realizing that the blitz was coming and exactly where the soft spot in the defense would be. He's able to put that slant route right on the front shoulder pad of his receiver. Leads to a real nice run after catch and brings up first down. Ball sitting on the three. It is first down and goal. Now this is going to be a design run. They let him keep it. And he will take it in himself. Touchdown, Falcon. That his second touchdown tonight. The dual threat of the quarterback. When you have one that can run, why not use him, especially down here, Greg? And they punch it in for the touchdown. There's nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than down here near the goal line when he can call his own number. In this case, that's exactly what he does. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. On the return, it's the rookie Xavier Worthy. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Chiefs and their running back, Isaiah Pacheco, head out for their next drive. They trail by two touchdowns, so... The time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. Open man right side is Kelsey. 
It's a gain of 16, and very quickly, a first down. Now Mahomes gives it to Pacheco. And he surges folk for a gain of about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. From the shotgun, it's Mahomes. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. Third and a yard. Out of the gun, here's Mahomes. That is hot. He gets the hook up with Rice. And he's out of bounds, but they are in the red zone, out inside the 20. What work after the catch. That one picks up 29 yards. Well, the run after catch is certainly nice, and they're definitely going to take it. But watch the savviness of the route running. Certain guys just have a better field for running these slant routes than others, and it's a nice result. On first down, it's Mahomes. Quick throw, taken in. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Throwing again, it's Mahomes. To the goal line and in. Touchdown, Kansas City. And this is what good offenses in the NFL do, Mike. It's the ability to bounce back even if the onset of the game doesn't go exactly according to plan, everybody wants to take their opening possession and go down there and come away with a touchdown. But it's not always going to be perfect. You turn it over on possession one. What are you going to do in response on possession two? Well, we just got our answer, and they took it down for six. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. This field in at about the nine. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. So we are through one on Sunday Night Football. It's the Falcons with the early lead. Greg and I back in Atlanta after this. A good spot here, second and a yard. Mooney in motion. Now faking the give. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. They'll try to run for it with Robinson. Trying to avoid tacklers there, but the ball is out. And fortunately, this is going to get out of bounds. So no turnover, and it's actually going to wind up a first down. He'll look to throw. He'll check this down to the running back. And he is out of bounds all the way down at the 35-yard line. 23 yards on that pass play. First down, Atlanta. You can't teach speed. And a guy like this is just a nightmare for these linebackers. He's got a running start at them. You have no idea which way he's going to go. And he ends up just running right by you. In the run, out of the gun, here comes Robinson. And he'll get forward for about a yard. Drew Tranquil up to make the tackle. Here's a second and nine. Back to throw. He's got his target. That's Pitts. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. 
the idea here for this offense is you're not really thinking necessarily touchdown. You're thinking first down. Let's get a fresh set of downs here and reset. But in this case, they suffer a loss, and it brings up fourth down. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. It's Xavier Worthy on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. They put Kelsey in motion. First down throw. Mahomes... Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. Off the play fake. Mahomes. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Here's a third down and four. in motion is Brown. Third and short. Here's Patrick. A gain there of 11. First down, Casey. Nice first down grab there by Hollywood Brown. And it seems like this was a move that kind of flew under the radar a little bit. Doesn't it seem, Mike? This is a guy that when he's at his best, he is as talented as any receiver in the league. And he brings that explosive nature the Chiefs are hoping for as they search to win their third straight Lombardi Trophy. A uh, play fake. Now it's Mahomes. Throw left side is taken in by the tight end, Kelsey. That's a gain of 16. This offense is humming. A first down. Quick throw here is complete. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Second down and eight. Right back to the air from Mahomes. This one complete right side. And he'll get about six before he's taken down. Here's third and two. They put Kelsey in motion. Mahomes now on third and two. Got a man. It's Kelsey. Complete. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. I know, I know, I'm biased. But listen, you can't convince me, Mike, that there's a better option on the field, especially when you got a guy like this that on third down or critical moments, that's where the ball needs to go. The size, the speed, the matchup problems that he creates. If I was in a critical situation, there is no doubt where I'm going with the ball. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. They put Kelsey in motion. Mahomes now to throw again. He's got his man, Brown. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Converted twice on third down already on this drive. Now can they do it for a third time? He'll look middle, and he's got his man complete. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Two minutes to go here till halftime. Greg and I back to Atlanta in a moment. Well, a chance to get right back in it here. First down and goal. To the air once more. It's Mahomes. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. 
throwing from the gun. Here's Patrick. That one, take it in. Touchdown, KC. That's his second touchdown so far here in the first half. And that is number two. Greg, he is off to some kind of start in this one. Two quarters and two receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer because right now they don't have one for this guy. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he will not bring it out. It's a touchback, and this drive will begin at the... Here's first and ten. On play action, he'll set up to throw. And this one is pulled in. What a grab. It is a big play there for the Falcons. 37 yards. Well, he certainly didn't look like a rookie on that long completion, Mike. Not only his ability to scan the field and find his favorable matchup, but he was able to hit his downfield target in the perfect spot that led to that big game. He'll drop the throw. He's got his man. It's Mooney. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. That's caught left side by Pitts. And he's going to have the first down as he gets out of bounds, and he stopped the clock as well. They'll look to throw again. He gets this one to Moore. And he will score. Rondale Moore. Touchdown Atlanta. Mike, we used to have a saying that it was the responsibility of the receiver to run the route through the eyes of the quarterback. And I think this is a great example here. Two guys clearly on the same page. Quarterback expected his target to be in a certain place at a certain time. He's there, ball's delivered accurately. He's able to pick up the rest with his legs. And that's a big time connection for the touchdown. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here comes Worthy to return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Chiefs offense ready to see what they can do. The deficit is 10, 24 to 14. So work to do as they come up for first and 10. Throwing is Mahomes. They'll set up the screen to Pacheco. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Gray is the motion man here. Mahomes looking to throw on second down. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Now KC going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll stop it just over a minute remaining in this first half. They put Kelsey in motion. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Throwing again. It's Mahomes. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Out of the gun, here's Mahomes. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. And the Chiefs will punt the ball away. And we will not have a return here. This one angled out of bounds. The Falcons offense and their quarterback 
ready to go once more. And he's had things all his way in the first half. Those numbers are sensational. He looks to add to him with another drive here. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That one taken in by London. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Second and seven. He'll look to throw. And he's downfield to the tight end hits. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Now the Falcons will use their third final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go until halftime. Back to throw. He'll be hit as he throws, and that one will wind up incomplete. Could not step into the throw that time. It'll bring up second down. They'll look to throw yet again. And that's going to wind up incomplete. Pressure certainly impacted the quarterback there. Couldn't get his arm all the way through. And it's going to bring up a third down. Blitz coming. He'll throw it. That one is caught by Mooney. So that'll bring up fourth down, and here comes the veteran Bradley Pinion to punt it away. Back deep for KC, Xavier Worthy. So that one's going to land out of bounds, and the official's going to mark it right at the 20-yard line. And they'll elect not to run another play. Instead, just take a knee and take this on into the locker room. So we're at halftime here on Sunday Night Football as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. We'll get right back to it as we'll get ready for the third quarter. Pretty interesting first half. We'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Here come the Chiefs and last year's Super Bowl MVP, Patrick Mahomes, for their next drive. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now they're trying to keep it going. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. Look him up on a second down and eight. They put Kelsey in motion. Mahomes now to throw on second down. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Ben in motion is Brown. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. On comes the Chiefs punter. And he is hoping to improve on his first attempt. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. The Falcons offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. You've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. A quick throw here going to be taken by London. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. Set to go now on first and ten. More going in motion. 
Now, faking the give. Going to look deep. Looking for more. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average. And frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out front. And he'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Running back looked a little unsure of himself on that carry there, Mike. You have to think back to that fumble earlier in the game. How much is that still weighing on his mind? He didn't really seem to attack that hole like we've seen in the past. He gets stopped. Yeah, no game. And they bring him down there, but it is inside the 10. It is going to be first and goal. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. So the big play changes the complexion of things. It's first and goal now from just inside the 10-yard line. They'll look to throw. This one caught at the four. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. He'll get a couple, mark them down at the three. They'll use three tight ends in the formation for third and goal. Now they'll set up to throw. That's in the end zone and intercepted. Picked off by Justin Reed. So much of that play comes down to the defender's position. Being able to get himself to a spot to get his hands on the ball and a chance at that pick. Mike, when that ball was thrown, me and you are sitting here saying, that's a touchdown, and instead, they force a turnover, and now their offense is back on the field. The Chiefs' offense ready to take over once more. The deficit is at 10, so an important drive forthcoming. Getting started with first and 10. Gray is the motion man here. Mahomes quickly out to right. And a mark him down up beyond the 30. Line of scrimmage is the 31 as they line up first and 10. Play action here. Mahomes. A dive and a catch. Incredible. Rough start to this drive for the defense. Back-to-back -back big plays. This one for 27 yards. Gray is the motion man here. First down throw. Mahomes to the right side. Hauled in by Kelsey. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. That's catch three just on this drive, and it gets his team a first down. And his great game continues, and all game long, Mike, he's really been on the receiving end of a lot of big plays, but I think we might have just seen his best one yet. Mahomes now to throw again. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes. He is in. Isaiah Pacheco. Touchdown, Chiefs. Greg, sometimes we say it too often. That was an important drive. That one really felt important for them to edge a little bit closer. Yeah, now the question is, Mike, yeah, the offense does their job, but can the defense get a stop? They've got to continue to get the ball back to their offense, let them build on that previous drive, because they've still got some work to do. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. 
this taken in at the eight-yard line. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Falcons offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. Into space. And he will score. Kyle Pitts. Touchdown Falcon. Using the tight end to get to the end zone. Greg, it's your old position. You're very familiar with that. That catch and carry. What an ability for your tight end to take it to the house. Yeah, and this was never really the strength of my game, Mike, but we're seeing so many tight ends around the league who not only are great at securing the catch and making the tough ones, but it's their ability to extend the play after the catch that's separating them, just like we saw here. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Now, here comes a return from the nine. Good return here. Brings it up to the 33-yard line. The Chiefs offense and their running back, Isaiah Pacheco, head out for the next drive. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and 10. On the ground to start the drive with Pacheco. And he'll get this only up to about the 33-yard line. Here's second and nine. They put Kelsey in motion. Mahomes now on second down. That one pulled in by Brown. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. Bad in motion is Brown. Mahomes now on third and two. Taking off, he'll try to get there. Ten yards on the scramble there, and he picks up the first down. Having a quarterback with this ability to run is such an X factor in today's NFL. It's an element of their offense that you have to be prepared for on every single play. Here we see it on third down. Starts out as a pass. Nowhere to go with the ball. He tucks it, turns into a runner. Picks up the first down. And they'll take this down inside the 35. That's another first down, another big play. The defense has some issues. Gain of 18. From the shotgun, it's Mahomes. Open man right side is Kelsey. And he's going to be brought down here on what will turn out to be the final play of the third quarter. Second and a yard. They put Kelsey in motion. On second down, Mahomes. Right back to Kelsey again. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Mahomes from out of the pistol. He'll throw. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Right back to the air for Mahomes. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. Well, so often we see quarterbacks standing in the pocket, holding it, seeing if they can create something downfield. Well, not that play. That play was simple. Snap the ball to the quarterback, spit it out into the hands of your receiver, and let's see what he can do. And he's going to have the first down. They convert on third, and it sets up a first and goal. No scores, no scores, no scores, no scores. 
man in motion is Brown. And he will score. Game on. Rushy Rice. Touchdown, Kansas City. Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance. But can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? The kick is good. Important extra point. The difference is just three. A field goal here in the fourth quarter. So they've cut into the lead. Now just a field goal behind as they kick it off. Now return coming from the seven. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. Here comes the Atlanta offense now. They get set to take over once more. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten. To the outside, a catch made by Moore. He's close to a first down. It's a gain of nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Brings up second and a yard at the 38 yard line. And here's Bijan. He'll take this for a couple, but the official signal, he has enough first down. Another run here for Robinson. And that'll be a pickup of three. They face second down and seven. They'll go again with Robinson. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scourge, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. You know at this point, the defense has to sell out and stop the run. You know exactly what the offense is trying to get accomplished by keeping the ball on the ground. But now the question remains, are they willing to take some risk here and put the ball in the air on third down? Or do they play it safe and keep running the clock by keeping the ball on the ground? Six catches for him in the ball game now. And this one's good for a first down. Off the play pick, he'll look to throw. Throw over the middle, caught by London. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. And this offense is now really on the move, Mike, and it's the passing game that's leading the way. They've been able to march their way downfield thanks to this aerial attack, so don't expect them to go to the ground game anytime soon. If I'm this play caller, I'm continuing to lead on this not only in this drive, but probably for the rest of this game. They'll throw out of the gun. And this is too far over the end line. It's incomplete. So the ball still at the eight-yard line for second down and goal. Mooney in motion. It's a give up the middle to Robinson. Stop at the six, and that sets up third and goal. The six-yard line, a two-yard pickup, brings up third and goal. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back for the conclusion in a moment. So can the defense come up with the early stop here on third and goal? They'll drop to throw. He'll try it. And he gets to the outside and takes it in. Touchdown, Atlanta. And that's exactly how you stress all week finishing a game. Get the ball and leave no doubt. But that late touchdown, Mike, that should all but just seal this victory away. Koo able to add the extra point. And the Falcons will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. The kick 
kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. A safe kick taken at the five. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Chiefs offense ready to take over possession of the football. They'll begin with first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Mahomes. There's that man again. Another catch. Now, second and four. They put Kelsey in motion. Mahomes looking to throw on second down. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Throwing from the gun. Here's Patrick. To the left side. It's caught by Brown. Now KC going to use the second of their timeouts. And it comes with a minute 15 left to go in the second half. They go sideline, and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. To the air once more, it's Mahomes. And it's into the hands of Kelsey. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. That'll be taken in by Kelsey, the tight end. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers. Everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. That's taken in by Brown. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Throwing again, it's Mahomes. He's got it at the three. And he'll be brought down there, and that'll put a wrap on this one. Time has expired in this fourth quarter. So it's a win here for the Falcons. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching all the way, matching each other point for point. In the end, a few more defensive stops in their points did. And that was the difference in this one. So that'll do it for us. Four